Hi everybody, it's Jessica from Chambry Blues. Back with another tutorial today. I'm gonna to show you how to make a French seam. French seams are usually used on styles that are very simple. For example, this kimono pattern that I'm making. It's easiest to do when you have straight seams to follow either at center back or the sides, shoulders, even the sleeve seam on this one is very straight and easy to sew it as a French seam. So I have my fabric. This is a very fine uh, organza with um, printed designs on it. And I'm gonna start with my fabric with the wrong sides together. So this is a shoulder seam. I have the wrong sides together kind of making a sandwich of those two. And I'm just using a regular presser foot and a stitch length, a regular size stitch length of 2.4. I'm gonna start by sewing a quarter of an inch down the seam. Don't want to sew across my pins because that can break needles and cause problems with machines so always take your pins out okay now I'm going to trim this back a little bit I want to have about an eighth of an inch left in the seam allowance so I'm trimming it off here Now I'm gonna turn it to the wrong side. And this is what confuses people. I'm actually sewing from the wrong side now. I'm gonna try and maneuver this seam to the very edge there. And I'm enclosing those raw edges inside this next seam, which I will stitch at 3 eighths of an inch. So it's a standard 5 ace seam allowance, but we're sewing it in two parts. The first was a quarter inch, the second part is 3 eighths of an inch from the folded edge. And the idea is you want to enclose the raw edges inside this seam. So you're going to have to manipulate a bit with your fingers to get it just right. And you can press it and Make it all pretty. This fabric doesn't press very well because of the metallic design. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the inside of the garment. And from the outside, ta-da! It's a beautiful flat seam. Now occasionally you will see, uh, if you didn't trim it enough you'll, before you stitched here, you'll see some little threads hanging out. You can trim those off by hand or you can go back in and stitch another row of stitching an eighth of an inch away from your first one and just get rid of some of those um, little whiskers of material that come out through the seam. So that's what it looks like. It's a great finish for a sheer garment or um, any kind of fabric that's very lightweight, such as chiffon or georgette, and it really makes a nice finish to your garment. So that's all for now. Be sure and click subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you in the next video. You can find me at chambrayblues.com. Have a great day.